All right, everybody, happy 2021 and welcome to one of the most incredible opportunities in the industry out there right now, the next evolution of the blockchain and crypto industry, something that has absolutely transformed so many people's lives, but most importantly, is transformative in the way that it's run and the people that are behind it. So let's go ahead and get straight into this. So first of all, I do want to make it very, very clear that I am an independent community builder for the hyper community. I am not a financial advisor. I am giving this information to you purely for educational purposes, and this should not at any time be considered any type of solicitation investment or financial advice. And it's very important for every individual looking to get involved in any opportunity in the crypto and blockchain industry to understand the risks involved. And we strongly recommend that you consult with a qualified professional prior to making any decisions. So I will show you the door, but it is up to each individual to choose if they want to walk through that door. Okay. That's it, let's go ahead and get into the fun stuff. Here's what we're gonna to cover today. First, what's in it for you becoming a part of this opportunity? Second, what this opportunity is? Third, the most important point that all of you should pay incredible attention to anytime you are looking at any opportunity, who is behind it? Fourth, we're gonna to tie it together and talk about how it works. Fifth, how you can get involved. And six, this is when we're going to break the ice and really show you with absolute evidence just how real this opportunity is. Okay, so the first point, what's in it for me? Well, plain and simple, what's in it for you is becoming a part of this incredible opportunity in 2021, you're going to get rewarded every single day for your efforts. And on top of that, you're going to get access to not only educational material that is being developed and strengthened as the time goes on, but you're also going to get access to exclusive private token pre-sales for, for hand-picked projects, some of the most high potential projects on the market today, not available anywhere else. And once you know who's behind it, this might seem a little bit more attractive. So next we're going to talk about what this is. What this is, is this is a crypto and blockchain community. But we're not just talking a community that you might join, drop in, talk to a couple of like-minded people. No, this is much different. This is a community that you can join that is able to leverage a very, very powerful, innovative system that has been developed by some of the most well-respected, influential, and powerful people in the entire blockchain industry, bar none. And this has been developed to give the average everyday person an opportunity to prosper in this industry. So I probably got your attention now talking about some of the most powerful people. You may have heard of them, you may have not, but pay attention closely because this is absolutely crucial. I'm gonna talk about who is behind this opportunity. And we're not just talking one person, two people, not even three people, not even one company. We're talking about a coalition, an alliance of four companies, four very powerful respected companies. They're known as the Hypertech Group. These four companies are Colin Starr, Blockchain Global, Digital X, and HCash Foundation. Now, these are not just any ordinary companies. And we're not just talking about size. We're not talking about the fact that they're all over the world. We're talking about the fact that they are some of the heaviest hitters in the industry. They have been around more than half of the length of the industry's entire life. They've been around for six to seven years. And in those six to seven years, they've developed a strong track record. They have invested over $500 million collectively in some of the most successful blockchain companies and exchanges in the entire world. And have developed, not only developed a comprehensive portfolio, but they have also helped some of the projects that you know today as the big names become the massive success that they are today. Over the time, they have managed to get equity in more than 40 world-class crypto exchanges, some of them that they own outright. And they've even invested millions of dollars to develop world-class technology. That's right. They are partnered with some of the most prestigious universities in the entire world. Manash University and Hong Kong Polytechnic considered the top 1% in the entire world. They have an official partnership and they are developing incredible cutting edge technology that is just led by 
the most incredible people in this entire industry. And on top of that, these companies have even been garnering support by Fortune 500 companies and even by governments around the world, including the Australian and Chinese government and several others. Their portfolio has grown to massive proportions. Their equity portfolio consists of some of the most successful projects and exchanges in the entire industry, such as Binance, B, ZB. By trading volume, these are the biggest in the entire industry. BW, Eternity, Elf, Tron, Omisco. The collective market valuation of their portfolio is over $10 million. That's right. All of these projects together have a collective market capitalization of over $10 billion. And in many of these, they either own them outright or have played a massive part in their growth. Now, Let's talk about a few new points, which is, well, why should you trust these guys? Well, first of all, as we mentioned, they have a proven track record with over $500 million in strategic investment. Second, they have millions of users across multiple exchanges that either they have equity in or they own outright. They have billions of dollars under management if you count all of the platforms that they own, including exchanges. And some of the projects that they have either launched acquired or invested in have gotten up to 19,000% growth under Colin Star Capital's management. Let's just run some numbers, okay? Before we get into the nice stuff, let, let's, let's do some numbers. These are three of the exchanges that are owned outright by the Hypertech Group. They have either purchased them outright or created them themselves. This is the daily volume right here, 180 million, 280 million, around 736 million projected for coin w so let's just say they make one cent per transaction just from one cent per transaction that's millions per day in pure profit just from three of the exchanges that they own outright we're not even talking about the equity the ownership some of the wallets they have this is by far one of the largest operations in the entire blockchain and crypto industry bar none remember this is just three exchanges okay so now let's talk about how this opportunity works specifically. Well, okay, companies in the crypto and blockchain space and in general, in any industry, they need users for their success. And they're willing to spend tens of millions of dollars to get users to their projects or their tokens or their ecosystem. These guys want users too. They want to grow. They have a massive ecosystem. They have products and services and exchanges already generating massive profit and they wanna grow. With this system, they're able to leverage a massive amount of resources on an unprecedented level. So what they're able to do is leverage these resources. They're able to acquire, launch, and incubate incredible projects, high potential projects. They're able to get these listed on the biggest exchanges virtually for free because they either own them or own a piece of them. They're able to get massive media exposure, which is very simple when you have such extensive connections in the industry. And then the missing puzzle piece comes into play. It's the community. It's us. So what happens when you get a bunch of awesome people together? You reward them for becoming a part of this, for pulling all their resources together. What happens is they're able to take this to the next level. They're able to leverage this user base and the resources they provide to and increase the value of their diversified portfolio and all of their platforms. And this creates a win-win situation where everybody can benefit from their success and from the market performance that they have spent the past six to seven years honing and fine tuning. And on top of this portfolio, because of course, exchanges are great, a highly profitable crypto portfolio is great, but they have even further diversified they're even developing something completely brand new for their user base and for the future. They have dived into the future of this industry and of the entire world, which is decentralized finance. Finance, as we know, is a multi-trillion dollar industry. Decentralized finance is essentially a way for the unbanked, for the average person to benefit from some of the massive success that the financial industry makes, but they only keep it for themselves, for the big companies, for the big corporations. The average person has a chance here. And we're talking about an industry that grew from a few billion all the way up to 14, 15 billion, and even more in less than one year in just a matter of months. These guys are planning to capitalize on some of the most profitable industries out there, like social media, crypto mining, e-commerce, news, 
digital banking and financial technology. And just to let you guys know, some of these have already been in existence for a long time, like HyperDAO, their platform token has already been here way before DeFi became popular. HyperPay has a billion under management and has been around since 2017. Hyper News, Hyper Show, Hyper Mall, these future developments, they are in the works. HPX is already an exchange that is generating tremendous amount of volume. So the idea here is pure diversification, adapting to the future of the industry and to add massive value and additional revenue streams so they can continue to build their massive empire for the years to come. And on top of that, they even have a pretty cool card. Well, more than cool, and I'll explain why. Their highest level card is able to do something that no other card on the market can do, which it, it, is that it has no withdrawal limits and they can spend, anyone can spend up to 50,000 per day. There is currently no card on the market right now that comes even close to this. All right, so let's get into the other stuff now. How do you get involved? Well, what if I told you that of course, there will be more educational resources in the future. There will be the opportunity to learn as you go, to get trained, to get involved in other opportunities. But to get started, to become a member of this community, all you have to do is download an app or go to a website, register an account, deposit some crypto, and purchase your membership for as little as $300. That's all you have to do to start benefiting right away the very next day. That's really all it takes. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's break the ice a little bit. I'm going to show you a few things so you can see just how real this opportunity is. I'd like to introduce to you two of the faces behind this opportunity and two very renowned figures in the crypto and blockchain industry, Sam Lee and Ryan Shu, the chairman and the founder of the Hypertech Group. So Sam Lee and Ryan Shu, while their companies have been around for six, seven years, they themselves have been evangelists and believers of the blockchain and crypto industry since the very beginning, more than 10 years in the making, which is pretty much more experienced than almost anybody in the industry. Very few people actually go this far. They've been renowned and recognized by the entire world. Sam Lee is known as the crown prince of crypto in Australia, and Ryan is one of China's top four Bitcoin kings. That's right. Not even CZ, the founder of Binance, is on that list. Now, Sam Lee himself has been interviewed by some of the most reputable media outlets in the world, such as Sky News Australia, CNN, Microsoft executives. The Financial Review has also interviewed Ryan and Sam on many occasions. And right behind Ryan, you're probably wondering what that is. Well, that's an interesting piece of history, and that is how they got their start. That is what's known as a mining, a mining farm. Secretly, in lots of locations around the world, including China, they have been mining Bitcoins for about as long as the industry has been alive. And over the years, using this impressive machinery and never giving up on the industry, they've managed to accumulate tens of thousands of Bitcoins, which guys, Bitcoin going up to like 30, what is it, 35,000 now, maybe 31,000. You can just imagine how much that is. And that was their start they managed to grow the empire that they have today and to develop these companies and to even go on to fight with regulators for three years in Australia to open the world's first publicly listed blockchain company in Australia and to get formal recognition from the government, which is an absolutely incredible accomplishment. I mean, they are very, very well known around the industry. Ryan and Sam have, um, Ryan himself is the best-selling author of a, of a blockchain book in Southeast Asia, Sam himself and Ryan, they have not only relationships, but they've met on several occasions with a lot of highly successful and powerful government leaders, such as the Montenegro Securities and Exchange Commission Chairman, Mr. Dekanovic, the President of Switzerland, the Ambassador of Indonesia and Minister of Trade, the Prime Minister of Pakistan, currently the Dubai government, the Danish consulate, the Russian government, and of course, the Australian government. They have one of the world's first companies, actually currently the only company to have a formal, the, the only blockchain and crypto company to have a formal agreement with Australia's Trade and Investment Commission. It's absolutely incredible what these guys have done. They have gone on to win government funding from more than a dozen countries to open blockchain education centers all around the world. And these relationships have stuck. They've even gone on to get the 
formal approval and license from many governments to open up fully regulated crypto exchanges. One that they're currently working on is Dubai and it's just absolutely incredible. They even have their academic partnerships. As mentioned, they have partnered with the most prestigious universities in the entire world. And there is proof on their websites for you to see with your own eyes where they have signed multi-million dollar agreements and they have they are partnered with some of the leaders in the industry, such as the creator of Monero, one of the most powerful cryptocurrencies in the entire world. And as mentioned, there is proof everywhere of their affiliation with the Australian government and their formal recognition by the Australian Trade Investment Commission. The media has their things to say about them as well, such as the first of its kind company, which is Digital X. It was the very, very first of its kind that actually went public on the Australian Stock Exchange. And companies such as Coindesk Business Insider, Business Wire by Berkshire Hathaway, they have talked about the mountain of accomplishments they have had, such as purchasing an exchange and mining company, one of the world's largest, for $100 million cash. For recently investing, more than $10 million in Chinese mining chip technology, establishing a more than $300 million blockchain fund where they invested in some of the most successful projects out there. And most recently, which is very important, the technology that HCash Foundation, one of their top projects, that is exclusively licensed to them. It has been formally recognized by Australia's National Science Agency, CSIRO, as the most efficient in the world, a technology that's absolutely life-changing and could be extended to even government use. Governments around the world are looking at this technology and it is gonna be absolutely incredible what it can do. Now, let's get to the final part, the icing on the cake. They have even been featured in an Amazon Prime documentary, a very famous documentary called Next Blockchain, where they are featured alongside some of the most powerful people in the industry. You'll see Ryan Shu in a lot of episodes, and they even have their own episode where they talk about the incredible things they have accomplished, which highly recommended you watch this. But to break the ice a little bit and to for everyone to see exactly who you're working with, I want to show you a quick clip just so you can see the integrity of who you're working with here. The ideal of and belief in equality and freedom, but it's crazy growth at an early age reduced it to becoming something driven by greed and lust. Bitcoin's price hit $1,000 in 2014. Trading volume also increased by 50% compared with the previous year. But just at this moment, a winter came. I 就正确的再下就是狂人企业消失这个行业能容纳的资金和人是这么的少
So everybody, you were probably wondering why I didn't just show you a super exciting, happy-go-lucky video clip of success, of massive growth of this. Well, because you cannot measure a true man's worth and integrity when they're doing well. Everybody is going to do whatever they want when they're successful, but a true measure of a man's worth, morality, and integrity is when he is experiencing one of the most difficult times in his life. That was one of the most difficult times for the entire blockchain and crypto industry. The price of Bitcoin had gone from $1,300, $1,400 all the way down to $150 in a matter of months, $150. Everybody was losing money. As you saw in the video, mountains of mining equipment everywhere. Everyone was losing. No one was winning at that time. And him being one of the biggest miners of Bitcoin, for those of you who don't know about crypto and Bitcoin, Bitcoin needs miners to work. They are the ones who verify the transactions instead of banks. So if he were to give up on that day, Bitcoin probably would have failed to even exist to this day. It probably really would have died. So that was one of the hardest times of the industry when he actually could have made the smart choice and lost money, but he went beyond rational business decisions. He went beyond anything that most of us see. He stopped being a businessman and he shifted to being a true believer and pioneer of this industry. And he knew if he just hung on, if he didn't give up, that he probably could change the entire world. And guess what? He didn't give up. He lost money for a while. He didn't give up at all. And now Bitcoin is over $30,000. And not only that, but his impact is lasting. And he has transformed this entire industry because of the decision he's made. Now, the final question, which rests with all of you, and it's up to you to answer this question is, is that a man of moral and integrity? Is that a man that you would want to follow? Is that somebody that you believe is here for the right reason and is here to stay and is truly building something for the long term? The answer and the decision lies with you.